Hey guys, this is Spectra from Trent Airsoft. Today, I'm going to do a video to help y'all out since I've seen other people that help me out. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to snake skin camo a gun. For those of you that aren't familiar, snake skin camo looks like this. I just did this to my Electro Tactical PDW. And I say I was very pleased with the results, so I kind of went all out on everything. I did a different color scheme like this. Keep in mind, you can do this with any two colors you want. But I'm going to give you an example on this lower receiver. It's a GNG plastic lower receiver, as well as that was a GNG plastic M4 upper receiver. So, uh, first off, what you need one color. I just spray painted this entire thing down in tan. And then you need a secondary color. This is black. Then you're going to need a cloth bag like this. And from that is what gives you the texture for the camo. Now we're going to start off by painting this side. Make sure I got all the dirt off that. Now bear with me here. I'm videotaping this for my phone with one hand. So what you're going to do is take this. Let's see if I can't set this up on my kickstand. Uh, yeah, just bear with me here. What you're going to do is just get the part you're painting and place it underneath the netting. Like so. Make sure, depending on how you want your pattern to turn out, it's either really loose or really tight. I prefer mine kind of uh, intermediate. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can just go in and do the entire thing and just go all over it like that. But then you'll have the tan showing in the cracks. Like over here where I have black showing in the cracks, you have tan. What I did on my PDW was a stripe method, which I'm going to do on this one where you just get it. And just go stripes like this. Okay, and as you can see now, it's beginning to take pattern. So now we're going to gently open this up. I'm going to set the camera down so we can get it out without damaging the paint. Okay. And there's that. It looks like pretty much like skate snake skin. That's how it's got its name. And the this pattern will dry fairly quickly. Give it about 30 seconds to a minute to dry, depending on how heavy you do it. So now we're gonna flip this over. Get the other side. Uh, now I've done this a while, so this bag is really, really, really stiff with paint. Cause I. Just kind of figured out how to do this today, so I've been on a frenzy. So once again, I'm going to do the same thing. Start over here. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to set the camera back down one more time. To get the lower receiver out. we go. There's that. Now we're going to put the upper and lower receiver together. So I'm going to set my phone down once again. Just needs to get the pin out. <sighs> wow, that actually turned out better than I would have thought. I did these two receivers completely separate. And it's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Like, places here, it almost looks like it was like that. But then as you get to the front, you can see it. Let's see. Eh, this side's not as good, but that is actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, uh, hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, post them down in the comments below. Like the video if this helped, or if you just want to like the video. And uh, thanks for watching.